My name is Paige. Welcome back to another video. I am so glad you're here. this morning from outside because it's just so beautiful out here. I currently have three liquids in rotation. I have a tea, an iced coffee, and water. The first call I have is actually with a very, very cool jewelry brand. We've been taking so many calls recently about collaborations with Dairy Boy and with my own brand. I am at my house in Connecticut. Yeah, it's so nice. I'm like, it's gonna get really hot here where I can't take meetings outside, so I'm kind of taking advantage of it. All in this, I stand alone. Show me where the ending goes. Honest, honestly don't. Okay, the first call went great. Hopefully you guys will see that soon. Anyways, guys, I think this vlog is gonna be just like another home vlog, but I do want to do some organizing and spring cleaning. I did do a lot of that last week, but I think I'm going to do more clothes, more of like my clothing organizing, um, which I thought would be fun to show. And otherwise it's just going to be like a home vlog. I have a lot of meetings and work this week too. So I can show you guys like a little bit about how I work remotely when I'm here. I'm just gonna finish up some admin stuff and then I will check in with you guys. I think I'm gonna make some bread for later. I really wanna make cinnamon raisin bread. If you guys watched my last vlog, you would know that I'm like fully now obsessed with baking bread. It's fully my new personality. I made bagels, a baguette, bucaccia, and that's it. But today I wanna make like a real loaf of bread. And I think I wanna do cinnamon raisin. Bread. Okay guys, I'm gonna make some bread in between my meetings. I have like 50 minutes. I'm on my second bag of Ballerina Farm High Protein. I said this on my last vlog, but I really feel like this flour is responsible for my success in what I'm doing. I also just love their packaging. Anyways, I'm going to use the same dough recipe that I've been using for literally everything pretty wild how this dough has kind of been like a shape shifter because i made bagels i made a bread loaf and i made focaccia and they were all very different obviously with the focaccia it was like a ton of olive oil the bread was boiled and then baked and then the loaf was just straight up baked but i'm finding this recipe to be very successful so i don't really want to change it so I'm very, very curious how this is gonna turn out today. I have faith in it though. Something that I've learned about cooking is once I figure out how to do something, it's very, very easy to adjust recipes. Like my base for a spicy rigatoni is always the same and then I will add stuff. Or my base for like an Alfredo cream sauce. Once you know what works and you know a good base, I think you can kind of adjust. And so far, that has been successful in my bread making. But today I want to bake a loaf in a Dutch oven. I'm gonna bake it in this Dairy Boy actually sample Dutch oven. I've been sampling this for a year now. As you guys know, I don't really like keep secrets as far as my brand goes, which I don't know if I should be, but I'm gonna be launching a full home line with Dairy Boy. It's honestly what I'm most excited about. Obviously like the clothing and the garments excite me and it's a very cool part of my job that I'm very grateful for but you guys know like home and kitchen is definitely like my main passion but that being said I want to make sure I'm like actually using all of this stuff for an extended period of time before I approve it so yeah that's exciting if you guys didn't already notice like a lot of my stuff in my kitchen is actually already Dairy Boy whether it be cloths, tablecloths, 
pots, pans, utensils, but I'm just sampling. Which is also cool because you guys can kind of see how it evolves and see me really use it so when you decide to spend your money on it, you really know what you're gonna get. But anyways, I'm gonna bake a loaf today in this. I'm really excited about it. I don't know how it's gonna go. So again, if you guys didn't catch this in my last video, this dough recipe is four cups of flour, about like a tablespoon-ish, a little bit more of salt, one tablespoon of active yeast, and two cups of bath temp water. But if you try this with regular flour, there's a chance that your dough might not rise. So make sure you're getting like very high quality flour, whether it's a bread flour or you order their flour. I just added the yeast. I'm gonna mix this all up. Water. I'm gonna give this a rough stir and then just like last time I'm gonna put it on my kitchen aid with a dough hook and allow it to get smooth and add the salt with my dough recently I've been adding maple syrup for the sweet element and I've really been liking it so I'm gonna stick with that because I think it will taste good with the cinnamon raisin just a heavy dash of maple syrup Okay, gonna put this on my KitchenAid. Okay, so my next call is with Nordstrom. Nordstrom? Is it Nordstrom or Nordstrom? Nordstrom. 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 About Dairy Boy. We have gotten a lot of interest from wholesalers for Dairy Boy, and we're kind of in the middle of trying to decide what's right for our brand because we are growing and because we've had so much success just like on our own platform with direct to consumer so we're just like gonna take all the calls and see if it's the right fit but definitely not like a hundred percent if we're gonna do it yet because although it's very exciting and flattering sometimes it's always not the best move and there's like a right time to get into like the wholesale um as a brand so excited to take this call we also have a call with revolve later revolve is one that to me makes a lot of sense and is very different because i feel like revolve's sales is super driven from influencer sales and obviously i have so many friends in the industry and i think our products would do very well on revolve and it wouldn't like take away from or change my business so excited about that i'll keep you guys posted hey can you hear me you got a new number yeah i got a new like work number legend a fucking burner like an old nokia or something like a blackberry yeah like bbm yeah did you ever do BBM? oh oh hell yeah I, it was but yeah no i got a new phone because there's like a hundred group chats with dairy boy um, yeah 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 no it's smart and um okay no i just wanted to touch base quickly before this I, we don't have to guarantee anything i just want to like hear from them like yeah this is our thoughts and then you get to decide like do you want it to be here do you want it to be there and yeah. like, you don't have to make that decision today so just letting them know that like we've obviously been in urban and had success in urban yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. A like our, you can say like best selling hat like yeah. they've ever had yeah it's like the truth that's what they said yeah hey we stand on the opposite shore Okay guys, the dough has risen. I'm gonna do this cinnamon sugar raisin um, folding and then I'm gonna let it rise again and then cook it later. Okay, I'm gonna stretch this out and then I'm gonna do a some layer of cinnamon sugar and raisins and I'm gonna fold it. Do less raisins. You don't like raisins? Not too many, just a few. Oh, okay. Okay. Raisins. Not that many. You want one? Okay. Uh, my mom says not too many raisins, but I beg to differ. But I will do that for you, because I love you. <laughs> Wait, no, Cinnamon. No, no. This is way too many. <laughs> this one. Okay, I, I all like this it. Is a lot. I like them. Okay. Cinnamon sugar layer swirl. How is this gonna swirl? I just fold it on top of each other? Do or do I roll it? Yeah, roll it and then roll twist it. it. Ooh. Hold. Twist. Twist. Yeah, you gotta get that Hello. twisted. Okay, period. Oh. And then do that bread thing that they do. 
Oh my god, it smells so good. Ah, oh, there's one raisin on the top. It looks like a boob. <laughs> boob bread. I want a few raisins on the top. No, they'll get it. Enough! We're gonna let her rise again, and we're gonna go to the barn, and we will be back for her. To get back the life I used to know. It like really flies out on the sides. Okay, so I put the bread in here with some parchment paper. I'm gonna put some water, I think, underneath here to just steam it. But I'm gonna cook it in this. This is the lid, it's really, really cute. I'm gonna score the bread. I honestly don't really know what I'm doing, but. That looks like kind of bad, but good. I'm gonna add a little bit of water underneath and I'm gonna close the lid to bake it and then I think at the end I'm gonna take it off okay last call of the day I'm meeting with the revolve wholesale team so excited about this I've also taken a meeting in like every room of my house today you accept there I think yeah it just depends on like what's what hi guys uh, and all of that hey. hi so nice um, to meet you I reach through mysterious ceilings my holy hope I look for the things I don't know Okay, the bread is done. It turned out so good. I could have used more raisins, but my mom was fighting me on adding the raisins. I'm gonna try it right now. That's an interesting way of eating it, but it's still would work. Wow. Wow. That is really good. Good morning, love. These are by far my favorite face masks, but they are obscenely expensive. There just can't be a good reason why they're this expensive, but get the masks with my Revolve credit. So technically in my mind, they're free when they're really not. Anyways, I just woke up. I'm just going through my calendar on my iPad and I do have a busy day today. I do have to shoot some content and I have some meetings and my Nana, my mom and my dad are coming over for dinner. So I need to like get everything done, clean the house and yeah. Because my skin, it's been pretty good recently, but I've been breaking out like right here, like in the same spot on both sides and it hurts. I don't know if it's because I've been having more sugar recently or what the deal is, but if you have any recommendations, let me know. Also, side note, I'm wearing Dairy Boy PJ sample, the most comfortable PJs I've ever put on my body, and I wish I could launch them literally today. Also, guys, I woke up this morning and got tagged in the story, and I thought it was like a fake account or spam, but Vogue wrote this article about, like, obviously the Challengers movie is coming out, and Zendaya's been doing a whole press tour, and her looks have been insane and so cool and pretty, and they've been very tennis, um oriented and in this article they mentioned me and they didn't mention like really anyone else and I was so shocked and uh I had no idea this was being published and it was just so flattering so thanks Vogue Singapore this was a sweet thing to wake up to I'm just doing my makeup now to film an ad this morning I'm filming an ad for a liquor company something that I've noticed while I've been home and I always sort of know this but I guess being here this is something that I've thought about a lot I don't know if anyone can relate but I'm a very adaptable person in the sense that wherever I am and the environment that I'm in really impacts me and and I guess I can sort of blend in anywhere I am instead if I'm in New York City I can do New York City things and keep up with that sort of life. If I'm in LA, I can adapt and do the things that people do in LA. If I'm in Florida, I'm going into Miami and I'm going out to dinner more. I don't think this is a bad thing. I do actually think it's led me to 
the person I am today. I've been able to live in a lot of different places and honestly just experience a lot of different things in life. And, and honestly, even when I moved to Connecticut and made that jump from leaving New York City to moving to Connecticut and living a very different lifestyle, I felt like I was very confident in that decision because I had really lived everywhere. I tried, I feel like everything. I have all sorts of different friends and I've just like experienced a lot of things. And I feel like I've really like embodied what it's like to live a lot of different ways. In my move, I was very confident in it because I just knew that, you know, I knew I wasn't gonna be missing out on something and I knew it was what I needed. But the reason I'm even bringing this up is because when I've been home, the version I am of myself here is the best version of myself in so many different ways. And I feel so much better here. I, I just really feel like myself here, I feel like for so many reasons, it's just the best place for me. But since I have to be in so many different places and I really do like adapt, to everywhere that I am. It's hard knowing that this is the best version of myself and I can't be here 100% of the time. And because I do so easily adapt to my environment, to where I am, what I'm doing, and the sort of like lifestyle and the place that I am, it's hard to know how good life is here and how good I feel here and how fulfilled I feel doing the hobbies and the things that I do here. Always at my house or outside or with my horses or around people that have similar interests to me. I do really like to travel, but I almost like don't like how easily I adapt to places like, but whenever I come back here, I'm just like, I don't know. I feel like I have a very different perspective on things. It's not like I forget about my life here or my way of living here. It's just like a way better way for me to live. Like I'm not shopping. I'm not spending a lot of money unless it's like on horse stuff or investing in my space or things like that. And I'm just like, this is what I wanna be spending my money on. This is what I wanna be doing and this is how I wanna be living. But then if you put me in a city for like two months, I'll not like forget the things here. I just like adapt. And then I come home and I'm just like, I didn't need to buy that bag or I didn't need to do any of that. Like I could have just not, I don't know. I just am constantly reminded here about what's important through things that are very like wholesome and fulfilling. And I guess it's hard a little bit feeling like this is the best version of myself here and this place like really brings out that person in me. It's not a bad problem to have though. Like I'm so, so fortunate and blessed and lucky that in my mid twenties, I've been able to find this. It's a little bit rainy here. So we're probably just gonna like organize do some ads, do some work stuff. My closet is a bit of a disaster, so I'll organize that today and I'm probably gonna start packing. I'm actually gonna be heading to LA on Sunday. I have so much stuff to do in the office, especially before the summer. We have so many drops happening this summer and, and a lot of very exciting things, so I need to run back to LA. We also have a new intern in the office and just have to like catch up on some work stuff. I've not been in the office in LA in a long time. So yeah, I'm gonna go film this ad and then I think I'm gonna do some closet organizing. Forgot to blend my neck. <laughs> Oops. I'm wearing this still here denim skirt, Carhartt belt, American vintage sweater. So I'm just gonna film um, the ad that I have to do. And then I will touch base with you guys. I also need to figure out what I'm making for dinner tonight. Okay, doing my vlogging? yeah, we're vlogging. <laughs> doing my closet now. Lauren had this great idea to get these vacuum sealed bags to put my winter stuff away. They're iconic. They are iconic, and we got these a long time ago, but now we're putting them to use. Yeah. So pretty much all of this stuff is love this skirt. Winter. You love her. <laughs> She's so cute. She's really cute. Okay, guys, I'm gonna put you on a time lapse because. We got shit to do. I'm really excited. You're literally gonna freak out. Okay, let's start. <laughs>
a lot of progress. And I also just organized all my products in my bathroom. Some of my skincare favorites, some hair care stuff. I'm starting to pack some stuff for LA. Also organized these shelves. Also organized and folded this whole sweatshirt closet. This closet is the hardest to stay organized because it things out and then like everything falls out. And I just have so many sweatshirts, but I really love this storage in my bedroom. There are two closets. I think they're really pretty and it is really nice storage, but I finally organized this. And I did some organizing with my workout stuff. I'm gonna finish it tomorrow. It's not like fully organized, but we got rid of a bunch of stuff. I feel much better about it. I still have to go through my shoes and my jewelry and my denim, but I feel good about it. Gonna finish the deep clean tomorrow. Um, I'm gonna start making dinner for my family that's coming over. Hi, Nana's here. Hi. Oh, all your beautiful friends. All my friends. You are your friends. friends. You are your friends. This is so much fun. I am making bread. How do you say it? Obviously, it's a bummer that he got injured, but he was happy that um, he got to finally train on the clay because last year he felt like he didn't get enough training before the clay court season. So, okay. so he's very excited. Okay, guys, same thing as last time. Four cups of flour, a whole tablespoon, I don't know, a big tablespoon, I think, of yeast, flour, salt, a little bit of maple syrup, and then two cups of warm water. Oh, well, that's what, um... You guys own this, right? Man, I'm plugging your agave. What's it you called? own this company, don't you? Honey. Everyone go buy some honey and some agave. Oh my gosh, you can pay for that. <laughs> it's, it's okay, serious. it's okay, it's okay. Yes, it's a great product, <laughs> some honey. You can get it online. Just online? No, well, you can get it in certain high-end oh. grocery stores. Do you want to give a little background? Um, I am the CEO of a food distribution company. You are, period, queen, girl bossing. And we recently purchased a honey company in Wisconsin. Because you originally, the company started, grandpa started it, and he distributed with, sugar. With sugar. Um, to big, to big corporations. Yes. And yes. now he's a Coke, he, Coke, Hershey, Hershey's. Yes. He's um, and he, it's a huge company now. It is. And he started by loading sugar. Right. On trucks. Had an idea. Liquid sugar and um, dextrose and fructose. Look at you go, girl <laughs> boss. Who would have thought? Anyway, my family's in the sugar industry. Right. Grandpa always said this about Pager Rooney. Aw. Paige Rooney gets it, and she got it. She got it because now she's... Anyways, guys, if you see that honey, buy it. Okay, I'm just gonna oil this bowl. You guys have seen me do this now, I feel like so many times. I just fell asleep with my makeup on still, so. Oh, Taylor Swift's album's out, guys. The tortured Poets Department. I'm like nervous to listen to it for no reason. I'm excited. What sucks is if I listen to it on here with you guys, my video's gonna get demonetized. 
and uh, I will not lie guys I like my paycheck from YouTube okay I'm gonna listen to the first one <laughs> Love the first song with Post Malone. Love. I don't know if this is controversial. I don't know if it's controversial to give your favorite Taylor Swift album and like what that says about you. Actually, I'm gonna look it up before I tell you guys. I'm gonna look up what my favorite Taylor Swift album says about me. My favorite album is Folklore and I'll tell you guys why, but it says songs to heal from past injuries, people pleaser. And then another thing says Folklore Girls Love to Dream. Okay, I definitely can relate to not all of those things, but some of them. But Folklore is my favorite because it reminds me of New England. The music, the tempo, and like everything about it to me is giving like very Rhode Island, Cape Cod, Nantucket, coastal summer. I know that she like had a house in Cape Cod and um, Rhode Island. And it has a very like nautical, nostalgic, dreamery vibe to me. That's just to me. And I grew up on the coast in New England and somewhere in Nantucket and spent a lot of time on the Cape. Her music is so good and dreamy and nostalgic and also like heartbreaking because nostalgia is just kind of nauseating. Anyways, I'm gonna listen to the whole album. I have been up for another hour. Oh my God. I usually listen to albums in order going down, but for some reason I just went straight to the bottom and that ended up being my favorite song. I'm listening to it on repeat right now. Mm -hmm. 